Okay, now let's go and see how the Nigerian Law School set of 1985 celebrated their annual reunion in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. These are the set of 1985 of the Nigerian Law School having a good time. The cheers, hugs and laughter during this reunion has been a constant for this unique set that has made it a point of duty to meet every year during the NBA but took a break during the peak of the pandemic. But they are back together like they never left. The event held in the main hall of the Nigerian Law School, Lagos. Some of the alumni are stepping into this school for the first time since they left almost 40 years ago. Thirty-seven years after they were called to the Nigerian Bar, this 1985 set now boasts of a total of 42 senior advocates of Nigeria, with 15 of them newly appointed between 2009 to 2012. While some other members of this set hold key positions across every sector of the nation's economy. It is therefore a thing of joy that we have gathered here today to celebrate our 37 years of call to the Nigerian Bar and to thank God Almighty for sparing our lives during the COVID pandemic of the last two years with all its variants. But apart from celebrating and honoring our comments, we are also using this opportunity to, do a, uh, to launch a special project which is very dear to our hearts and to our alma mater. is not to wine and dine, but also for a good cause. We are therefore using this occasion to launch appeal to raise funds for the construction of a medical center, which will cost about 185 million, which we expect to be completed within eight months. Funding from the government is not forthcoming, but um, uh, classes like yours have been doing so much to the Nigerian Law School. He has mentioned so many things about, done by your class, especially the chairman of this class. I wish to thank you so much, and uh, like Oliver Twist, we will urge you to continue to do the good things you've been doing. I wholeheartedly welcome the idea of constructing a medical center for the benefit of students and staff of the Nigerian Law School in a much better deal than just donating, donating two motor vehicles 
that will not last beyond five years. One of the high points of the evening is awards to 34 members who have achieved a major milestone in their lives and are worthy ambassadors. At this age, this type of get-together is good for our health, it's good for our well-being, we're having fun, we're dancing, we're eating good food, and it's such a congenial environment, you know, supporting one another as well. All our students are, are discouraged, they don't want to go to law school. We need to, to make this place such that it will be fun for students to come and want to study. For some of us like me, this is my very first time of stepping into this premises after I took my wig on my head and left. When you've been doing the same thing over and over and over for 37 years, the brain becomes atrophied and you don't want that. So what do you need to do? Do something totally different. Write a book. If you cannot write a book, learn a language, just speak a language. Do something that will tickle the brain. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. If you are still sitting down. They sure let their hair down and had a wonderful time together. All right now. So much fun right here, no doubt. The class of 1985 of the Nigerian Law School are surely looking forward to next year when they will gather again. Here's wishing them all the best. Bravo, fiesta, forever.